Hello there, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a general read, uh, whoever this is reaching out to, okay. And the energies around whoever I'm reaching out to are here. So let's have a look. Um, I'm going to start off with my uh, medieval deck and we will see where it goes with this reading, okay. So uh, what I'm reaching out to from the universe, from the divine, from spirit guides here, uh, please point us in the right direction of what is happening right now and going into the future. Um, I'm getting getting for a few of you that, that it's uh, up in the air and you don't quite know uh, which direction things are going to pan out. Uh, because you've got surprises on the horizon. It's like, I didn't expect that. Um, I think it's a bad surprise. I feel, I think, you know, it just it just kind of jumps in front of you and it presents itself. Um, and this, this is you on, sorry, uh, this is you on this journey. And um, journey of exploration. That's what I'm getting, a journey of exploration. So you're exploring. It's like you've decided to uh, explore and uh, see how this works out and see see what that... But I get with you that uh, you're not the type of person that would hurt somebody while, you're, while, while you are finding out your right, um, you know, your right road, the correct, you know, the right path to take. I also feel with the Hermit card in reverse that you don't want to do this alone. I think you may have made a decision to say, oh, you know, there's only me that can take this journey and um, I'll take this journey and see where this goes. But I feel just recently either the divine or the universe does not want you to do this alone. That's what I get here. I think. I think you've done these journeys alone before and it's saying you don't need to take take all this all on board. Um, you can take somebody with you, even if that's the friend, you know, that you make here. I, I get a rebirth card, but it's in reverse. So the rebirth card in reverse is that you're not ready for this new beginning. But it's there on the horizon. Um, you feel you've got some unfinished business here. Uh, this is going to delay things here with uh, the chariot in reverse. That is also going into the past, so you may not have felt ready for this. And that's delayed things uh, so far in on your, you know, on your path here. You, do, you certainly don't want to get hurt again with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse is opposite to being backstabbed. You don't want to be betrayed again. You don't want to um, be hurt again. And, and, and you know, that, that makes sense. Who who wants to, um, you know, put their hand up, say, I'll, I'll, I'll actually, you know, I'll actually volunteer to for you to backstab me and betray me. I'll do that. Nobody likes that. Okay. Um, I do get also this other person, I get an ex here, did realise that they had betrayed you in a big kind of way. Um, but they're blaming you for this. Uh, this delay is actually holding you back here from your happiness. I also get still procrastinating 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 over uh, the past that, God, that did the person really know that they, did they deliberately go out to, to sabotage and deliberately go out to do this? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And when somebody deliberately goes out to sabotage and they know what they're doing, whether it's family, partners or friends, they don't partic they don't care for you. Um, they don't care about how you feel um they actually feel that hurting someone 
and betraying someone gives them the upper hand and that's how they they see this it's not real though i feel this is not real because this is not happening although although this person feels that it, it made them feel more powerful to to be able to do this to you uh to make you look small um to crush you in a way i don't feel it's transpired that way um they're, they're very deluded in thinking that this would actually you know this hurt I, th I feel what this has done is highlight the way these people are or highlight the way this person is you know because they get here you know these knives are out but they're not touching you the knives are out here but they're not touching you and i feel this is this is how this is they can continue with their betrayal they can continue with their evil deeds they can continue with uh, backstabbing or whatever they do here. It's not going to affect you. Now, I do get a man coming in here, the Lord. And maybe this is this new beginning that you're reluctant to start, okay? Um, this person is actually building up uh, their interests um they're building up their fortune if you like they are maybe starting again from um a divorce they've probably been uh taken to the cleaners or something but they're rebuilding so um you may be kind of concerned that this person is is being very thrifty with 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 their money and uh you know, we don't do our shopping there anymore. We actually do it on, on a cheaper supermarket now. We used to do it there. Um, and you're kind of thinking, well, why is that? You know, I mean, yeah, people do have to be careful with the finances these days. But there's more to this. And um, I don't feel that you're fully involved with this just yet. But I get you're on the periphery. Uh, I think you need to stay on the periphery until they actually sort out some, tie up some loose ends here. I don't think you, you should, uh, yeah, stay on the periphery. This is what this is saying, okay. So let's have a look here. So let's look into this relationship here. Um, yeah, I, I feel there's some baggage with this relationship. And um, yeah, they've been they've been left with you know they they've been left with nothing. Uh, I think this is something that you can actually relate to. Is that yeah, I get that. Um, yeah, you know, when you come out of a, a marriage or a relationship, you tend to be starting all over again in in every aspect. Okay, yeah, the coffin, the coffin card is the ending. Okay. The ending there's this loose it's an ending to this chapter and with the coffin it's new beginnings okay um transitions also uh tragic endings tragic endings transitions new begin so mixed in with this new beginning there's like a tragic tragic ending I'll get my words out. So um, you are part of this new beginning. Again, I get reluctance. You're not worried either about this 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 betrayal. This, but it could be part of what happened with this uh, tragic endings. Okay, um, tragic endings. What maybe with family members? You're kind of realizing what they are, what 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 they've done to you. Uh, behind the scenes and it's like how could you do that to someone that's not you know it's not worthy of that why did you do this it's it's because they want to look better than you um they want to put you they want to keep this narrative that you're beneath them that that's why why they there was this tragic ending um 
You know, it's like I'm going to get you and I'm going to get you back like revenge in a way. But this is not touching you. It's like you, it's like you, it's like that's on this movie. And you can only just see, focus into the movie. And you've got another movie going on here. You know, you've got another movie going on. It's just starting, okay. You know, you, you, that's the credits are going up for that one, and this one's just kind of starting, okay. Um, yeah, stay on the periphery. This person is a bit all over the place too. This person is old school, okay. They they're quite old fashioned, and they do they do get partners that find them quite boring uh, because of their chivalry and old fashioned nature. Um, that they are, you know, they are the breadwinner. That 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 they are uh, the person that that actually keeps uh, uh, the finances together. And very old school. I mean, you may actually relate to that when you were younger. That this person, you know, you you met some old kind of minded people when you were like 20 and it, it, you just did not kind of match each other's energies because uh they were not exciting and and the, and and you know they were not they were very responsible and you may back then you may have seen that as boring but now you don't you don't see that as boring i do get this um yeah, it ended because this other, this ex, this female here, thought that he was just boring and dull and um, may have been uh, too immature for this person or may have um, may have been um, a lot younger and it, and it didn't work out. They may have had a, a, a huge age gap and you may be of similar age or you may be older or you may be more wiser and they see that within you because that's how they are that's but for somebody who is younger flighty and is looking for excitement and and doesn't see the deeper meaning of things it appears to be boring um so and I guess for some people, you know, always doing it right and keeping, keeping, um, you know, keeping everything to the rules uh, can actually get a bit wearing over time. I feel this is this is what this is with the situation. She's she's. I feel like she's moved on, having a, a an exciting time. I feel traveling by in nice cars and um and doing age appropriate things i feel that she's a lot younger um here again another karmic relationship it seems to be going into this person that's coming in here Arrogance, I get she felt that he was arrogant. Um, maybe there's a bit of arrogance there. But I do get this uh this person was heartbroken because um actually you could be heartbroken because you know there's a, a marriage or relationship that you, you're just trying to heal from. But also this person is trying to heal from from the way that she's she may have said, you know, you're dull, you're boring. I, I I, I need more than this. Uh, this person very deeply hurt by this, very sad, feels quite lost and grieving over the breakup. Mm. I, did, I do get this male here. I get this as a man. It could be any sex, um, you know, any gender. Um, I get this um, male this like bees around a honey pot this person is attracting a lot of uh, attention or a lot of uh, people trying to match make him with people 
women that he's not he, he doesn't feel that maybe again half his age and he doesn't feel that I, I I've already been through that and I'm looking for somebody who is a lot more intelligent and, and uh, mature. So this person's got a lot of people, a lot of female attention, but not for the right reasons. They think that this person's got money, possibly fame, money, um, gold diggers kind of thing. This person's not looking for that. They can, he can see, he can smell this a mile off. Um, he also feels because he's been taken to the cleaners that he doesn't want it, want this again. I get this person is quite wealthy or has a potential to be quite wealthy, especially into the future. I also get this ex of his or ex-wife here wants to take a great big slice of this. So there's some kind of alimony situation here. Um, I get this, this, this is a, it could be a corporation, it could be a business. Somebody taking a breath, a, a sigh of relief that there, there's an agreement here. Um, yeah, this person's done a runner. This person has done a runner. Um, they're running for their freedom. They're running away from the constricts of this relationship, and I get a separation. I also get both of you. I think this refers to, it's like you're in parallel. And it's referring to both of you. Um, you're, I, I'm talking to you right now. I don't feel you're ready for this. I feel, oh, this person's got tons of baggage. And maybe that's what makes you attractive is that you're not that, you're not like those bees around that honey pot. And you kind of get this. Um, I get the snake, so I don't know who the snake is. A reptilian type kind of person or woman. Let me just read on the bottom there. Um, okay, the other woman. Okay. Be careful of this woman or, or, or the other woman or a third party from the ex situation, from your situation, not from this new situation, you know, from that uh, movie where the credits are going up. Um, it could be competition. It could be competition that this person may see you as a threat. So look over your shoulder. It says look over your shoulder for this snake. I also get with this other person, they're thinking, I get this person is quite well off. Um, is keen to marry quite quickly again, so he can he can say, "I'm married to another partner now. My assets are are wrapped up in in my not with you, my old ex here. I might, you know, something to do with if this person was married, then this they could not touch their assets or something like that. They also get a prenup too. I feel this person." may actually want a prenuptial agreement um, in the future. I don't even feel it's what they're thinking, not not with you, with anyone. Um, I think that you're not even thinking this yet. I don't feel, I, yeah, I don't feel you or this other person, this new person is actually even giving this any thought. I think, okay, nice to meet you. And yeah, it's um, it's one of those accidental kind of meetings. But this person, I feel, be careful which room you step into because you're going to enter rooms that you've only dreamed of with the Paradise card. And this, this, this snake here is the person that's not happy with you walking in here and 
I feel this person, because they have been taken to the cleaner, they're going to work 100% harder to succeed and they're going to do really well. Um, and, and I get this, like, they're going to take you to places that you've always just dreamt of. That, wow, I, I thought that I may actually meet these people or these kind of this kind of society, but I never thought that actually would, would be reality. Um, yeah, I feel this person has, has got their mindset now to become ultra, ultra high. I get somebody may even become famous. Um, for some of you, this person may be on the edge of becoming quite famous. Um, a long time coming, they're going to pull out the stops to do this. Um, crazy. I, yeah, I get the snake. Maybe, the, it, yeah, it's going into this new situation. This person will ask you to marry them. Okay. I think it's to do with security, to, to show this person it's something to do with not being able to have my assets i'm married again i have another partner you're not my partner anymore and all this kind of thing um yeah this is this this is a person that that you yeah i feel this person whoever i'm reaching out to here they're going to ask you to marry them they're going to, you're going to fit in with this situation really well. Uh, I don't feel that you're a gold digger. Um, you're, you know, I, I also get I society or uh, celebrity kind of um, people around. So I know that sounds a bit far-fetched, but for someone out there or whoever I'm reaching out to, or it just could be reaching another level here. And you thought, well, I always thought that I would, in my dreams that I would meet this this person, but I in reality I never thought that. So I do yeah, with the paradise card, this person is going to treat you really well because you appreciate them and you respect them. And I also get here you're not a gold digger. So and I get paradise. They're going to give you a really good life. And I think you need to take this slowly though. This person will rush you down the aisle quite quickly just to get security just to look uh i think they need the stability they need to show stability around them too so they don't want to um they're going to chase you they're going to chase you they're going to chase you with the last person they wanted you to chase them to bolster up their ego. This person, it's not that they're desperate, they're going to chase you because they can see, they can see that you are you're good for them. Um that that yeah, I get somebody's gonna chase you. Okay. Wow. So as one film kind of finishes, there's another film starting. That's the only kind of anal an analogy that I can say here. I wanted to look at you, actually, your potential here. Um, that 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 is just hard to believe. But this person just wants to be happy and stable. And you fit that bill. I feel this is what this is. You fit fit that bill of loyalty, uh, integrity, and and all that self respect. Um. So let's let's just have a look here. I'm just pulling out some angel uh, wisdom cards here, just to look at you. I think you are quite frugal. I think you've also got. You're looking at actually building something yourself here, whatever that is, business, um, but you're doing it very authentically. That's another thing this person likes about you. You're very authentic. Um, so I get this card here, which I pulled out from this uh, deck here, the Angel Wisdom cards. And it says at the bottom, obviously, a lady. You see, this lady is very well-dressed. Uh, she's got 
you know, like designer clothes on and uh, a nice hat and a nice handbag. So this person is quite well off. So somebody who's doing well. Um, and it says at the bottom, managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give or receive money, time or emotions. Okay, so you are very careful of in how you give or receive money, time and emotions. So this person may say, look, um, I'd like to, to, you know, spend, you know, go out for the day with you or just do some. And you will say something like, you know, I have to be careful because I'm my time, you know, I'm very restricted with my time. Um, this is you starting a business. Um, you're being very kind of mindful of how you share out your time, your emotions, and your money. Um, You've made a very smart decision about business recently. But you are now starting to think more black and white. You're, you're starting to, not that you are not empathic. I think you've learned to um, hold yourself, you know, hold your cards close to your chest before you give um, anything. And you've, you've got this. You've got some interest here in business. Um, you don't want to tell a, a, tell this person about that. It looks like a very shrewd move. So that's you. And I, I, I wanted to pull out a card about you, and that's you. You in your own right. Starting to dress better, starting to look better, starting to care about your appearance. Although I get you a very authentic, natural person. I don't get you as too glammy. Um, you've got the world at your feet here. You're going to travel an awful lot too. Uh, the world's at your feet. This, this is why this person likes you, because you have this ambition. Um, and very kind of quietly confident, confident about it. You don't want too many things, too many balls in the air where you can't cope. So this is why you're being careful of your time, your money, your space. Uh, so you don't want to be juggling lots of balls here, um, too much going on because that's going to cause you stress. And this is what you don't want is a stressful life kind of thing. With this card here is too many things going on. And it says at the bottom, too much going on. Stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events or rapid changes. So this is going to happen quite quickly. A business is going to take off quite quickly. A relationship is going to take off quite quickly. And this is like, and there's also business travel here. And the ability to multitask this is going to be one of your skills. The final card I get here is, yeah, I, I get this man here that this man is quite successful, going to be part of your life. You're going to travel, travel the world with this person, uh, but you've also got your own thing going on um, as well. Um, this person is, um, is very earthy, very kind of old school, uh, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security and prosperity. You have the Midas touch or they have the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully for you. Wow, um, a supportive parent or a supportive spouse, a good person, a good person. So. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, one more card, because this is about love, isn't it? Meeting someone unexpectedly, quite quickly. Um, the chaser. I'm going to put, pull out some heart cards here very randomly. Um, 
trouble is this is a new deck and it's first I think it's not the first time I've used this new deck, but um until you've used them a few times they're a bit stiff to shuffle. So what I'll do is I'll just pull out randomly. I want to get this card here, which is you. And what this means is this card is acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as, as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So this is the ending of a relationship. You know, it was beyond your control. It ended, you got very hurt. And there's no point in, ch in changing this changing this person um and let's have a look at the next card here uh i get this card here life is a series and we'll finish with this one life is a series of constantly shifting cycles wow when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow now, this is a big message to say, go with the flow. You will be surprised where this leads. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Go with the flow. What a reading. Whoever I'm reaching out to, you've got great things coming on the horizon. Quite quickly coming in. Okay. Um, And I think you deserve it. I feel this is uh, the universe saying you can do so much better than that rubbish that you had before. And this is going to prove that you can do this by just being you. By no airs and graces, just being you. Okay. Sending you lots of love, lots of blessings. And if you'd like to put your like, share, thumbs up and uh, comment too. I much appreciate that. Thank you. And subscribe too. Thank you and bye for now. Bye-bye.